Welcome to Pack Valham and another pack collection video. Video. I just start over. Welcome to Pack Valham and another pack collection video. It is time to walk down memory lane. I will explain the jokes and shenanigans of Ibaloftalai, which is a series where it's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. The basic concept of I will off the lie is that I watch an episode of the Trolled series by DGR and I make predictions about it. For each wrong prediction, I eat a bean boozled jelly bean. A joke or shenanigan is anything that I find to really make this series priceless, which encouraged me to make I will off the lie season 2, filled with even more jokes and shenanigans. It could be a little joke that I made, clever editing that I did, something funny in the background. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him! Bang! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, anyways, why don't you guys just like watch Steve Jobs and Evan Era? Or something that is completely irrelevant to the basic concept of I Blow Off to Lie. There are many such types of jokes and shenanigans in DGR's videos and live streams, but they will not be included here if I did not add anything significant of my own to them. Add an uh, example. What's an example of DGR's shenanigans? One time he fell, remember he fell backwards with a trust fall? Another one he ate a kiwi for the first time? And, and, and don't forget about the... the Sucking on chili dogs and and uh, how could I forget about it if I didn't know about it in the first darn French place? French vanilla rocky road being stuck in his head and okay There are many such types of jokes and shenanigans, indeed your other videos and live streams, but they would not be included here if I did not add anything significant of my own to them. I will show the after black things in their own video. If you want to control some of my shenanigans for I Will Have to Lie Season 3 and possibly beyond if I decide to do so, submit a response to my eye switches form. Or if you are my brother, and you're here while I'm doing it. You can. You don't even have to submit a form. You can, or make a condition or anything. You can just do it. But of course, if you're not here, submit a response to my eye switches form. Now, these shenanigans will require a condition. What must happen first for something else to happen? That's how it works. If this, then that. If anybody has submitted any responses, you can see them in my ice witches spreadsheet. Of course, if you are my brother, you can send a, a sub, submit a response to my ice witches form if you wanted to. YouTube me, the chapter for the what's it? Are we at fifth now? Alright, YouTube me, the chapter for 5th 16 uh, files, put it right here, should be 410, or at least it's 410 that I see on the timer. But for the video, it's whenever I did the here. Okay, I bell off the light, anti-anti, E3. So I finished recording the episode and there is a pro there was a problem with the audio and I think here because I guys hear that for 15 minutes I'm going to two half as long voiceovers and then record a long voiceover earlier in the two. 
There is a pressure washer in the background. Eh. VO1. Hola, mis amigos. Bienvenidos a este SL. Testing, testing. Okay, there we go. I'm... Is... The bird bath was being filled, not by the pressure washer. The O2. Back here. I guess the draft closed the basement door. I'm supposed to be explaining the jokes and shenanigans that have already happened. And I have the explanations in a Google Doc, but... I'm just explaining the background noises here. Okay, so it looks like we might need the... I don't... VO3. I'm guessing this star. Besides... Okay, this one. Oh, well, I was... Smell of freshly cut grass. Like, warning chemical or something. VO4. You know how smells and taste similar? I describe lime as bright things as dull flavor, not toothpaste and clippings. VO5. All of the beans that I eat at a zip. Should I eat the bean like a cow? And not like the way in how animals eat their food. Moo. V O. Oh, no, that's not moo. That's boo. Okay, sorry. V O six. Fast. Here. Yeah, I'm going to say down. You have to go down. V O seven. Clever. That they've got. I mean, but um, but this time the mushrooms below. V O eight. Uh, by the way, V O is voice over. Okay. See, yeah, that's how they're not giving you another chance. <coughs> Do I? Should I find that sound in here? Even though it'll be glitchy sounding, which is why I made the voiceovers. Door and come back from the door and it come right. VO nine. Yeah. Should I find that sound in here? Yeah. Even though it'll be glitchy sounding. Maybe I'll find those sounds another time. Okay. Yeah. Tie. And tie big pipe is. Hmm? 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 VO ten K. Okay. I mean that can't be correct, can it? Is I'm is Dave going to try it? A moldy cheese flavors. Thinking the blaster will move. Oh. VO eleven. Oh. Or you can squeeze through there, filled by this fish, or time. That's supposed to Transcript screencast.
wheel. M E M. Stay tuned, mystery box. Stay tuned to find out what's inside this mystery box. Or if YouTube me remembers to do so. Well, at some point, I'll re rewatch the explanation videos to make sure that I don't miss things like this. There should be an info card. You can see what's in the mystery box by clicking on that card that's up there. Or if it's not up there, either I haven't gotten into it yet, or you can uh, make a comment and about it. I'll get to it er like earlier than before I rewatch the videos. Episode 5, Level Fears, Part 1. First Loud Warning. Uh, um, trying to move the speaker close to, uh, you know, so the speaker on the left here, trying to put the microphone close to the speaker on the left and move this speaker over, just like I've done before, but it's stuck somewhere. A few times, I put the microphone next to the left speaker, and then the right speaker next to the microphone, so the microphone ends up between the two speakers. There are other speakers, but they aren't involved with they aren't involved with this. This is the usual reason for a loud warning, but there might be one or two other reasons. Light bulb. If you guys want to check out, oh, what if they think he's going to get a Super Bowl? Oh, look, there's a Super Bowl. He goes, he goes to get it, but then there's a boom boom. Or he goes on a series of claws that lead him to boom boom. Ooh, well, that's a nasty plot twist to run for this level on your own. Boom boom is Dave's nemesis. To add insult to injury, Put an unreachable claw, because Dave is, or at least was, a fan of the claws. Or an unreachable super ball, because Dave is, and still is, a fan of the music. In the course. My clever light bulb idea is to bait Dave with a super ball, or a series of claws, and then switch it with boom boom. Blocked pipe entry. And oh, he wouldn't be able to be able to go in the door either. Which one do I think is correct? I think the door is correct. This one is subtle, but I will give you a hint. It is about the yellow text. What can you find about the yellow text? Here is the answer. The middle line and the bottom line are wrapped around the corner of the pipe. Overthinking the fruity. Oh baby, look at this bright pink one. Mm, what's the color? But they're fooling me. I mean, this, I mean, it looks bright like fruit. I, oh, this is going to, this nice fruit, so it's actually going to be stinky socks. And that is what they want me to think. Inconceivable. Taste stinky. I was kind of thinking, um, earlier after eating the other bean, I'm thinking, was that pretty fruity? I don't know. But I remembered, oh, I had fruit with my dessert. Maybe that's why I was tasting. But tasting the dirty fruity here does confirm that the other one was stinky socks. And, you know, it actually did taste stinky. 
taste stinky. Okay. Stinky usually refers to smell, not taste. In this sub-series of pack collection, I am supposed to be providing explanations, not something else that needs to be explained. There is a movie called The Princess Bride. Many characters have catchphrases that are repeated throughout the movie. An antagonist, Vecini, often says, Inconceivable! I said it because there was one scene where a protagonist, Westley, put poison in one of two cups of wine. I watched the scene, so I know which it is, and I will not spoil it for you. The antagonist and the protagonist had a battle of wits, and the antagonist was logically going back and forth trying to figure out which cup has a, had the poison in it. I had done something similar with the Tutti Frutti or Stinky Socks Bean, and watching it now reminds me of the Battle of Wits from The Princess Bride. Platform and Pow Hi, I'm correct. There's a platform on the track, and it has wings, but wings don't matter. The platform, the platform prediction text goes upward, like the vine prediction text earlier went downward. When the platform goes up, its prediction text gets kind of squished. For this POW is wrong, I used the actual POW block for the word POW. Nye nye. Nye. Gonna yeah, yeah. Dave made another funny sound while trying to figure out if he should fall straight down or hold right. I mimicked the sound. Part 2 Identical Coincidence Oh, look at that. Not only are these titles nearly identical, the lengths are the same. Hmm. Oh yeah, we finished this one. At 10.07 of Left Me Part 3, I recalled another trolled video with the same title, but the word SPEECHLESS is in all caps. It turns out I correctly recalled. Additionally and coincidentally, they have the same duration. Both are 21 minutes and 35 seconds long. They are different videos with different troll courses. Screen scrolling prediction text adaptation. Then it happens. <laughs> As the screen scrolled, the prediction text changed the bit to stay at the same location on the screen, but to include an arrow pointing to the POW block. Phone ringing. Someone's phone's ringing. By process of elimination, we have determined that was Ryan's phone. Bean Boozly flavor. Is that that initial Bean Boozly flavor that I mentioned before? Like with the fish, where I taste the Bean Boozly flavor, and then uh, like a fish? Uh, ah. I had tasted the woody flavor of the moldy cheese bean, but I hadn't eaten such a bean in the video. Right now, let's see where that YouTube video URL takes us. It seem 
seem like they have the same initial disgusting flavor. They have the same initial disgust. It seemed like they have the same initial disgusting flavor. That's a me gag. Now, it's just fish. I can taste fish and it's good. I like fish. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, it's now more fishy, less bean boozily. Bean boozily. Are you going to eat beach or barf? Okay, here's what was happening with the video at first. Technically, not in the video, but with the video. Um, I reloaded it and, well, I paused the recording, reloaded the video, and clicked the play, or resumed the recording, but there's always the three, two, one countdown with screencast omatic whether resuming a recording from being paused or making a new recording. The video started playing during the countdown. You get the general idea of that clip of the video anyway. You did not miss anything significant. Bad with an at sign. Hey, this is bad. But he's gonna try it. That's what I'm thinking. This is bad. Dave tries it. Two separate things. I guess I just put an at sign there to be creative. Let's watch to find out if this prediction is actually is correct. There's nothing else we can do but hit that. Oh my! Ah, I got it. It was bad. And Dave did try it. Goodness! It looks like it was a correct prediction. Oh my word. You have to softlock yourself for freedom. The mad lad did it. The well now, it's back and crooked. It is as if it is mocking me or something. Softlock yourself for freedom, what does that mean? A mad lad did it! In order to free yourself, in order to be saved, one must softlock themselves. Watch this. That is just uh, so good! It is mocking me because it really is a wrong prediction. Little bit more. It's only a little bit more. Mm, well, not too bad, I It would have been toothpaste or berry blue. Notice the those the, Notice the text color is a bright blue, almost the color of such a bean that it describes. Just like with the skunk spray or licorice and the booger or juicy pear earlier in this series. Which series? I Beloved to Lie or Pack Collection? Both. Immediately after the blue text is brown text, saying which bean I actually will eat and described as not too bad. Rising Dead. Dead. Okay. Dave asked, dead? Then said, dead. I took where he said, dead. Cut it into pieces and increased the in, in I, I took the, cut it into pieces and increased the pitch of each piece by two than the previous. Phone ringing again. Can I? Hey, somebody's phone's ringing. A 
again? Oh, it was... It sounds the same as earlier, and we had determined that it was Ryan's phone, so I have reason to believe that this is Ryan's phone again. Now. Beep up! Bad people! Hey, people! Ryan, that's not what you're supposed to do. I am giving you one chance to say something you had about your phone. I left it at the house while I went to school. And as you can see, Pac-Man Ham, the director, owner, slash manager of, of Pac-Man Ham, Okay, slash that host, was your chance. You have no The host, chance. I'm just saying the host of Pac-Man Ham was also at the same house as the phone. That's why he was able to hear it. Um, you can also tell that his earballs are working. Goodbye. I thought you were going to talk about something completely irrelevant. Smiley face. So. This is another instance of me mimicking Dave's funny face. To make this face, tuck in your lips and make a big closed mouth smile. Arrow pointing to that block. It's gonna have to wait till next time. That wraps up this. That is the block that had the vertical wrong prediction text. I thought it was clever when I put a clip with that block on the screen and made an arrow pointing to that block. Bowing background. Until then. I don't know what I don't know why Ryan was bowing, but it looks like he was bowing for the outro. Part three Walking Intro Hello my friends, welcome to Pac Valham and another part of this episode of uh, I Belong to Lie series. A series where it's. Is it I Lost a Lie? Or I lost yeah, let's. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to rewind that a little bit. Then another part of this episode of uh, I Belong to Lie series. It's series where it's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. I pretended that I was coming in from outside. I walked to the computer and pretended to put my video recording feed from the handheld camera to the built-in computer camera. Second loud warning. Okay, we're set up. Again, I was putting the microphone between the two speakers as I have previously described. I made an acrostic with the vertical wrong prediction text. The O in wrong can only go with loud, and the other letters can only go with warning. This might be the cleverest of the loud warnings. Good answer, Dave! Something's gonna happen over here, but I don't know what. Uh, Dave, what do you think? Bro, no. <laughs> you know. You just know. Uh, I just said that I don't know, so I was asking you. Well, something happened. Well, of course something happened. I Yet again, I knew. I guess Dave did not have any guess either as to what could happen. I don't blame him. Red dot. Huh. I see in my video preview while recording a red dot just here. I have not noticed that before. Okay, oh yeah, you can see it now. Red dot there. I've not noticed that before. (laughs) 
the red dot means it's recording, but I hadn't seen it before even though, obviously, it has recorded before. Poetic Prediction Pop Pipe No sir, I don't want to go in the door! I missed the troll here. As soon as you jump up to the pipe, you get pushed in front of a door. If you were holding up as if to go into the pipe, you would have entered the door. Dave was cautious enough to not hold up, so then he went up the pipe without any trouble. Two too many. How many too many? Two too many? <laughs> there were two boom booms in the room rooms, so that's two too many boom booms. I'm sure Dave would rather have zero boom booms in the room rooms, so there's no doom dooms that loom looms, and so he zoom zooms away from his tomb tombs. I'll sweep myself out with the broom brooms. Most of these just bloom blooms in my mind. I'll get in my car and vroom vrooms away. Will Mario get that mega shroom shrooms? Well, that's it for the Level Fears video. There is one more. Well, the Level Fear episode. Okay. Next time, episode 6, Anti-Anti. If you are smart, click the like button. If you are a genius, click the subscribe button. And you will see me next time. Down here in this bottom right corner. Another Cordification. This time, though, it sounds diminished, like it has tritones. Editor me, I want you to test it right here, right now. Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do! Oh, I do, I do, I do!